are just a couple miles from the Capitol building at beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set. And then briefly, let's take a look at the two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. Ben Revere will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. EK, these Nationals as they take the field here today. Come and trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, and the pitching really let them down. Too often their guys were falling behind and having to throw fastballs on two and zero oh or three and one. That'll catch up with you after a while. Xavier Paul set the plate now as he looks at strike one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Here's the pitch. 0-2 oh, pitch, swung on and hit in the air out to straightaway left. And Worth is under it now, and there are two away here. Chase Utley will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, 1-0. One oh. You'd have to say, so far, so good here for the rookie. Yeah, I mean, he's getting ahead, he's mixing his pick. Sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out, inning over. Darren Ruff will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. and oh. Now here's the pitch. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Here's the one one. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. That trying to go front door with that breaking ball started it a little too far inside. Now the three one home. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So one away here with the bases empty, and stepping in is the catcher, Carlos Ruiz. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. And this is swung on, and it'll be another chance out there at second throw over to Ortiz, gets him two down. Brady Sizemore will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Now here it comes. Fouled back. Again, a 1-2. That misses, and we're even at 2-2. Two and two. Pitch on the way. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Uh -huh. Michael Franco will lead things off. Bottom third of the order set to go here in the third. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Here it comes. And this one's down the middle. A ball and a strike. Now the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now. That's going to get him into trouble. He's leaving it up there like that. And one gone in the Philadelphia third. Freddie Galvis will stand in, hoping to perhaps pick up a base hit so we can climb over that Mendoza line. That's it sharply past the mound and on into center field for a one-out single. Hmm. Jerome Williams will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. And they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Ben Revere 
will get his second shot at it now. He was called out on strikes to open up the ball game. And he'll just watch this thing to try and get an idea. It's 0-1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Now a swing and a ground ball. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Daniel Rowe will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. First offering on the way. Here's a ball swung on. And your puppy's going. Your puppy's going. Feed me. Under it is Sizemore, and there's the first down of the inning. Xavier Paul will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Here's another one, too. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So the base is empty here with one away, and making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Uh. Darren Ruff will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Well, you see there on the graphic, he's in scoring position with double number 27 on the year. Throw over to Ortiz, gets him two down. Carlos Ruiz will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. Foss, now the pitch. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Mm. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Damn it. Three and one now. Swinging a ball chop foul down the left side. Full count offering on its way. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Here's the three two pitch. Now a ball lined towards center. Damn field. it. And a base hit as the Phillies uh. strike first in this one. They lead it one nothing. No, I shouldn't have threw that. Brady Sizemore will try and keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. One run on three hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. And that's lifted in the air out toward left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. What the hell, my team can't hit. will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the pitch. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Come on, guys. And the pitch. Curveball grounded towards second. And the fifth on. inning will start with a ground out, one away. Freddie Galvis will stand in. A 
Base hit his first time around. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now here it comes. Swing and a hard hit ball to second. There you go. Gets him two down. Oh man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Maybe even a half heartbeat, considering how fast his heart is beating right now. But he's on it all the way. And he winds up making the play. Jerome Williams will stand in for the second time. Now he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. And the knuckler got him swinging, and the side is retired. Knuckle time! Home half of the fifth coming up. Philadelphia is on top, one to nothing. Daniel Rowe will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. He set now the pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. You know, if you'd given me a nickel here, I'd have thought he was bunting that time. Yeah, that one caught me by surprise, too. I don't know why you'd want him swinging the bat. He set now the pitch. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. Therefore, it is Revere, one away. Well, the only good news that comes out of this at-bat is that he stayed out of the double play. Other than that, this at-bat really didn't achieve a whole lot. Ben Revere will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia Sixth. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Up for that man right there, only the one run allowed. How discouraging is that when you're pitching your heart out and you're just not getting the support? Well, the good pitchers really don't let it get to them. They know that it cuts both ways. Sometimes you give up five runs and your guys score you eight. Ball, ball, you just have to focus on holding up your end of the bar. Here comes another 0 2. Fastball called strike. Three. Nice. First out of the inning. <sighs> Xavier Paul will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Goes the other way as this is lined to left. And he will make the play. Nice. Here, and there are two away now. <coughs> Chase Sutley will stand in. He's 1 for 2 so far. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. And this one runs up high. Ball 1. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Very high, two and one. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they hold a 1-0 lead. Darren Ruff will stand in here to start the seventh. DK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Oh, and trouble here for Esco. Come on, dude. And he'll have no play as he runs <clears throat> first base safely. Dumbass. Now the national skipper's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. Casey Jansen is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Yeah. 
afternoon by this guy, Denard Spann. Can't ask for much more. He's our top player of the game. 